YouTube, what's up, man? It's your boy Shame, and today I'm coming at the most requested video so far out of the last five videos, I say, which is the 20,000 subscriber question answer video. I know I'm a little late right now. We at like 21,000, almost 22,000 right now, but I feel like perfect timing. It's still perfect timing, no matter when. You know what I mean? It's still perfect timing, right? So we about to. We gonna hop straight into it, y'all waited long enough. Uh, the first thing first, if you're not getting me, if you don't have me on my social media, it's gonna be up top. That's how most people put in most of the questions. Cause I got some off of YouTube, but I have a lot of them off my Instagram. Just thank you to all 20, 21,000, whatever the rest of the number is. Thank y'all for uh, subscribing. Make sure to hit that notification bell. And we about to get straight into it. Okay, it's gonna be a mix of like personal questions, I guess, military questions. I'm reading through as we go. I haven't even really read most of them because I wanted it to be like organic. How did you adjust to life on a ship over time after your early experiences? So, I'm, I mean, when you say over t my earliest experiences, um, I really don't know what you mean by that, but I can speak on adjusting to life on a ship. You don't got no choice, especially your life for me. I, I got flown onto the ship. So like, I'm like in the midst of underway with everybody i'm on deployment like off the rip you have no choice but to get used to it because that's your life now so you just gonna work with you work what you do you learn stuff by people that's already been there or stuff that you learn from you know your boy you know something like this and that's about it i'm not gonna try to speed through the questions because last time y'all was really getting on me about that and i ain't mean to but did you experience any issues while joining the navy yes when you are at maps please i i, I please sit up straight please sit up straight and make sure you listen because I don't know if I told y'all about this, but so at MEPS, you wake up at like four in the morning, right? So I was already tired going to MEPS. So I'm sitting there and I'm leaned over in the chair and the lady come out and she asked me something and I was like, huh? And she was like, oh, you can't hear? We're going to send you to a, another facility to get your ears cleaned out. So I had to go to a whole nother facility. And at the same time when she said that, I was like slouched over. And she was like, and it looks like something's wrong with your back. So we're going to put you uh, through the x-ray. So, so, and did all this extra stuff all because I said, huh? And because I was slouched over. So learn from me because I had to go get a... You know, I had to get a waiver and, and, all, and all different types of stuff because of that. Do I know anything about Navy CT, CTIs? Um... I know we got them on board, but I, I can't think off top if I know anybody that's a CTI. I know y'all probably looking at me like, hey, you look kind of weird right now. Yeah, I, sh I shaved my mustache, so I'm looking like boot camp, baby smooth. And I'm sick. How long How long am I going to stay in the Navy? I really don't know. It's, um, this ain't, this was not even my plan, man. This was all, this is God's work. You ever thought about the buddy system before you joined the forces, bro? Thanks for your content as well. Um... Nah, I, I didn't have anybody that that was going to join with me. You know, I'm gonna put it, put the joints right here. Yeah, but yeah, I didn't I didn't have anybody that was going to join with me. I ain't I ain't that cool with people like that. How do you wake up in the mornings on deployment? Do they announce it on the ship, or do you have to set your alarm? Uh, you set your alarm because the ship alarm goes off at 6 a.m. every morning. Uh, the reveille goes off and. But nine times out of ten, you can get used to the ship making its own announcements and all that type of stuff all through the day and night or whatever. So you probably won't even pay attention to it. So just set your own alarm. You don't want to be late on the work. What's what's my overall vision progression wise, both Navy and YouTube? Right now I'm kinda I'm still keeping the Navy YouTube stuff going and stuff like that. That's why I got this channel for, but actually I'm branching out and I made another channel. It's official sheen TV, but I don't have any videos up on that one yet as of when this video is going to be posted. So you got to stay tuned for that. And I have a couple things in store. So, you know, as of right now, I really don't know. You know, I really don't know how it's going to go. Uh, I don't really want to speak into the future because I really don't know. But yeah. Process of picking your location after A school. So I knew where I was going before I even went to A school because I'm undesignated. So I found out in boot camp. But for everybody else, I'm guessing they. Depending on what where you finish at in your A school, you can they get to pick where they go or negotiate orders or something like that. I'm not I'm not percent sure. So I know it's something like that. Did you plan on going into the Navy or is that sort of a backup for something? Okay, so me joining the Navy, uh, I was already accepted into colleges and everything like that because I went to a college preparatory school where um, to graduate 
you had to be selected into a certain amount of schools. So I was already selected into schools, and I was, at first I was planning on go, going to college, but it really just didn't make sense to me because at first I really wasn't that focused. Uh, I wasn't. I felt like I wasn't ready for college, and also it didn't make sense to me to go put myself in debt to go to school to get out to work my debt off when I could put four years aside uh, in the military and they pay for my schooling after that. So it just it just didn't make sense to me. If, if I, especially because I already had a, um, I already was interested in the military, so I figured like I wanted to knock that out some point in my life. So I just figured why not now and before I go to college. Um, and the Navy was not my original pick. The Marines was my original pick because honestly, I won. You can ask my parents. My main focus, not my main focus, but joining the military. Ask anybody around me. I wanted to go. The Marines, 0311 Infantry, and I wanted to go shoot shit. But, um, I feel like this is more practical for me getting out and stuff like this, so I'm I'm happy with my decision. How are the females, bro? I ship out for boot camp in July. The females is the females, bro. They just, you know, living organisms, you dig? What's the least amount of years you have to stay in the Navy to get full benefits? I believe it's like three. I think at three years, you can still get all your benefits if you were to get out. I think they got like an early out program or something like that. So I think it's three. Gunners made good rate, question mark. Operation, space, uh, operation specialist, good rate. What do they do in port? What is their quality of life? Gunners made, all right, so you're going to be cleaning the, you're going to be cleaning the guns, issuing the guns to like security and like the MAs and all that type of stuff. You're going to be maintaining the magazine sprinklers. Um, I, I only can speak for carrier. I don't know what they do everywhere else. But, yeah, they do that. So, they be cleaning the guns. They do. They operate the gun shoots underway. They uh, they issue rounds. And the, they give the like the security guns and stuff like that. I really don't know what OSs do at all. I know they got some good advancement. But other than that, I really, I really don't know too much about them. What are your hopes and dreams, my ninja? Uh, I just want to go to heaven, bro. What is my favorite thing to do in the Navy? I love when I get off work and then I get to go make videos and like go read comments and talk to y'all. That's what I like doing. <laughs> are you in a relationship at the moment? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? What rank are you in the Navy after two years? See, here's the part right here, right? Everybody look at me like, Shane, you've been in for like two years, bro. Why are you still, why are you not a petty officer yet? I came in undes. I, can, I can't go over what I, I, it's a cap. You get capped off at E3. Period, I've been an E3, like been an E3. So it's just nothing I can go over that until I go, until I go to A school. Have you ever encountered secondhand smoke? And if so, such as, is, and if so, such as in cigarettes or tobacco, dude, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I guess I've got some secondhand smoke a couple times in life. I, was, I would think so. Have you managed to save a significant amount of money? If so, what are your savings tactics and what are your plans for spending those savings in the near future? Buying a house, buying a car, investing. P.S. I do not use Insta. That is why I posted my questions here. Thanks. Yep. I am pretty good with my money and I will make a separate video on that because I feel like I feel like I'm a guru with this you know what I mean so I feel like I could teach you something so I'm a we're gonna hold off on that one that's gonna make that's gonna turn into a video so thank you you still in Japan yes I am Yakuska Japan ever think of doing special ops in the Navy how long are you planning to stay in the Navy yeah see I thought about doing special ops and then I started watching the videos what the special ops do. And I was like, oh, it looked cool, right? It looked cool as I don't know what until you got to do it. And then I was like, uh, roll around in the dirt and the mud and do all of that. And, da -da -da. and nah, I don't think that's the lifestyle I like to live. Y'all can look at me. I don't really look like no, uh, like, I do it look like I want to roll around in the dirt and all that type of uh, Not me. I'm good on that. Appreciate y'all that do that, though. Hey, look, salute y'all. What would you recommend that people do with their sailors after graduation for those flying to the A school? 
specifically during early May since they'll be in Cracker Jacks. Also, what do you recommend wearing to graduation? When my parents came down, we just went to the mall because I, I wanted to use my military discount. Yeah, I wanted to, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to use my military discount and I just wanted some food. And that's all I did. I flew out the next day. So, it's a mall around there. So, you just go there. They don't care. I'm telling you, your sailor not going to care about what they're doing. They just going to be happy to have, be some, have some freedom. What do I recommend wearing to graduation? It's not a, like a, I mean, I'm not saying show up and like, wear whatever you want. It's not a, it's not like a cat. It's not like a business thing. It's, you're just there for your, uh, whoever you're, you're there for. It's not. Don't worry about anybody else, because y'all can go do your own thing after that, so. Hey, official Shane, how do you, I mean, what do you think is the ideal way to join the Navy? I recently graduated with my BS degree last month. Should I go for officer as a non-prior or go enlisted and graduate at a higher rank due to the degree and eventually hit the officer package once getting a claim to the Navy military lifestyle? Go officer. I don't know what that, what like the non-prior means, but go officer don't even if you have the option to go officer go officer don't go enlisted to go officer just go officer because they have a way better way of life they get treated way better and get paid way better and you don't want to start at an e1 and just because you got college degree bump to an e3 because you're gonna be like me just just go be an officer p.s thank you for all the informative videos it's giving me the best option to consider what i should be doing to prepare myself much love from la LA, I love your city. I love LA. Can you change your rank if you don't like your rank? What you mean by that, man? Like, if I'm an E3, I just want to be an O10 now. Like, I want to, or well, like, I'm an E3, I want to be a senior chief now. Nah. Maybe you mean like if you want to change your rate, like your job. That's probably what you mean. Uh, yeah, you could you could change your job, but it's not easy. It's a real long, hard process that has to get approved. What's your next YouTube goal? My next YouTube goal is 50,000 subscribers. Is it a good idea to join the Navy if you're extremely unfit? Absolutely not. You should get yourself in shape and then you should join the Navy. Um, or you should just get yourself fit, just not even for the Navy, just, just get yourself fit. You're gonna feel way better of a person. You might live longer. Why did I choose the Navy over other forces? Boom, let me break it down for you, okay, so. I chose the Navy, right? Because, all right, I, don't take it, no disrespect. But I felt like, okay, Air Force, nah. I hear too much stuff about them, nah, right? I was like, I want to go with the gung ho stuff, right? I like, gung ho stuff. I was like, nah, not the Air Force, right? No, boom, gone. All right, the Army, I went into the recruiting office, and the recruiter, he kept getting me trying to sign something. I was like, bruh, I'm not here to sign anything. I'm just here to talk to you and hear what you guys say and like hear how the army is. And he was just kept trying to force me to write some stuff. And I just was like, all right, bro, I don't even want to do this. And then I went to, um, now I did talk to the Air Force lady, don't get me wrong. And she was very nice and very informative, but it just wasn't what I, wasn't for me. I tried to go to Marines. They would never be in the office. That was just God not letting me do that. So I remember my recruiter for the Navy. I ain't go put her out there like that. I don't wanna know she want wanna get put out there. But uh yeah, she was I like her because she didn't try to make she ain't make me sign she ain't try to make me sign nothing. She wasn't trying to force nothing on me. Uh I just came in and we just was like just chopping it up. She showed me like the cruise book and I started looking through stuff like that. She just telling me like little stuff. And she was like, just being straight up real with me. And was like, yeah, if you don't want to sign it, like, I mean, if you don't want to do it, it's up to you. I'm just, I'm just, you know. And I was like, all right. And then I said, you know, I signed up. And she's still the same way. She's still cool. She still hit me up to this day, make sure I'm good. So salute to her. She know who she is. Oh, and not just, I ain't gonna just say her. I ain't gonna just say her. Cause the other, the other, my other recruiter, he'd get at me. I already know. So that's my main man too. Uh, he even still hit me up. We'd be talking about real estate and stuff. So yeah, shout out to him too. How much longer till you get out? And what are your plans after Navy? I have two more years left, but we'll see if it's only two years. Did I strike yet? Uh, yes, I did strike. I picked up air traffic controller. 
But I'm waiting to go to A school. Do I regret joining the Navy? As sometimes I did regret joining the Navy. But I honestly can say, right? I honestly can say that I see the light at the end of the tunnel. Like, I see where it pays off, right? So that's why I don't really have a bad outlook anymore. Would you be afraid if you had to go to war? Nah, not at all. Because I'm, I'm, I'm extremely confident in our capabilities to defeat our adversary. Whoo! Well spoken from Official Sheen. What made me start a YouTube channel? I like this question. All right, so let me tell you this. I used to ask my mom a million times growing up if I could have a YouTube channel because my first YouTube channel that I wanted to do, I wanted to play video games and I wanted to have a mic on with a commentation. I used to really play a, a whole lot of video games. Now I barely play games, right? I don't play games at all, you know what I'm saying? But I wanted to do that and my mother would be like, no, she didn't want me on the internet and all that type of stuff. Yeah, look at me now, mom. But yeah, she didn't want me on the internet. And I'd be like, all right. So she would never let me do it. And then I made a separate... Man, so listen, and the videos are still up. The video is still up. If y'all can find this extra channel, bro, I, I will send you something. If you can find this, if you can, sign, you can find my old videos somewhere. But I made a video on... Uh, it was like, I made a video. I was just talking about my first fight. Not my first fight, but I was just talking about a fight that I had in middle school about a guy, a guy stole my apple juice. He stole my apple juice and I cannot make this up. He stole my apple juice. It, 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 it's a long story behind it, but I made a video on that when I uploaded it. No one knows about this. It's, it's up here. It's it's on the web somewhere. And um, I don't even know the password to the account. I don't know any of that. I don't even, I couldn't find the video if I wanted to find a video. When I started my military process, I was like, you know what? I want to make a channel. I want to document this. For the Navy, when I was first looking at seeing like who's making videos and stuff like that, uh, maybe it was and I just wasn't aware. But it was like no, it was no black people doing it. It was like no, it was no black Navy YouTuber. And I was like, wow, you feel me? Like that's my that's my role. And then also I'll be watching like some videos, and no disrespect, no people that make military content and stuff like that. But it would come off as a vibe as like they were like the spokesman for like what, whatever branch they were and I just felt like that wasn't me I wanted to, for my channel I wanted to keep everything more organic more like me and you with it like not this ain't this ain't about that you know, I, I just didn't want I'm not no sellout or none of that not saying nobody else is a sellout I'm just using you know a metaphor I mean a figure of speech I want my videos when I'm talking to y'all like I want it to be like a one-on-one -on -one thing this ain't got the Navy involved in it like it's not a this is not a paid endorsement this is between me and this you and we gonna discuss some stuff so that's how I saw the YouTube channel and then y'all just y'all just love me ever, ever since do you have a crush on a girl on your shit bro I'm a grown man and you talking about having a crush bro no bro if I if I like a girl on my ship I'm gonna say what's up. Like, I'm not gonna be no secret admirer, like, in the cut, like, just staring at her, like, yeah, I like her. Like, nah, bro. Uh, nah, I don't, I don't really got no crush on my ship or none of that. I don't really like girls on my ship too much. How tall am I? I am six feet tall and skinny. How do you prepare for physical fitness before boot camp? I go in in two months. Boom, perfect thing. I got a video on getting shape, getting in shape. So make sure you go tune into that and let me know if it helped you out. Can hair be as long as yours in the Navy? At the time of this video, I had, my hair was out and everything like that. But since then, I switched back to them dippers. And yep, it, it could be it could be two inches in bulk, four inches in length. But when you got hair like how I had hair, be ready to be able to incite the instruction, like recite the instruction because some higher ups are gonna challenge you on your hair and if you don't know, if you don't know your instruction and you don't know the rules and regulations to whatever you're doing, then you automatically in the wrong because they got the one up on you. So know your instructions. Who is your favorite DMV artist? When you say DMV, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say my favorite Baltimore artist because I don't really know who the DMV artist is and all that. I don't really know. I can't even, I can't even pick one. Every, all the different Baltimore artists been like, with me but like for a different stage of like different stuff that I, you know just different time periods but uh i can definitely say lord scooter rest in peace to him 
I like Bad Hunter Izzy, he on his way up right now. YBS Scola, all of them. I like all of them. Young Moose still doing his thing. I, I like I like all of them. I like all of them. It's not it's not too many new Baltimore artists. I mean, it's not too many Baltimore artists that I don't like. I just came across this video and I'm gonna guess you from Maryland. Nope, not at all. I am from Baltimore. <laughs> I know you like this. I ain't, you're stupid. That's my thing. Would you rather lose your phone or your wallet? Oh, that's a hard one right there. I'd probably rather lose my phone. Oh, cause if I but if I lose my phone, I'm I don't be remembering my passwords. That's the only thing for different stuff. But if I lose my wallet, that's gonna have my cat card, my my debit card, my credit card, for all this type of stuff, man. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna get all that mail. Uh, I, I lose my phone. How much money have you saved at your at this point in your career? <laughs>